V1. Zero. Zero. Okay, A2. D1 plus the distance between all of them. Okay, so A1 is zero because you move along X1 and move A1, A1, A1. Okay, A1 is not zero. Oh, zero, zero. Okay, A1 is, this is measured along XI, right? So you move along XI from here and you go until it intersects the previous Z axis. This distance is X1. Okay, whatever that is. <coughs> How about A2? Yeah. A2 is from here, from O2 all the way to it intersects with the previous Z. Just like you move X1 till it intersects with Z0, you move X2 till it intersects with Z1. So this distance. Okay, let's call this distance as D2. This is X3. How about X3? I'm sorry, A3, not X3. A3 measured along X3. What is A3? This should be zero. This should be zero. All right. If you keep on saying zero at one point, you'll be right, right? Okay. All right. Same applies to X4, it's also the same. A3, okay. A3 is measured along X3, right? You measure along X3 till it's met with the previous Z axis, meeting at O3. Okay? If you go here, X2, till you intersect with the previous Z axis, so it's this distance. Right? In this case, Z2 is exactly intersecting at the origin. All right? Same thing here. X4 is intersected by Z3 exactly at O4. All right. Let's do alpha. Alpha is the angle between the two Z axis measured along, measured about the X, I axis. So here, what is the angle between Z0 and Z1? They are both parallel, so this is going to be zero. Let's go here. So here, if you look at this, this is Z1. Here's Z2. And then you have X2. So X2, the direction of rotation is like this, right? About X2, this is the positive direction of rotation. And I'm going from Z1 to Z2. So this will be... 180 degrees, because this is positive, right? I'm going from x1 to x2, like this, all right? Now, let's go here. These two are parallel, z2, z3 are parallel, so this will be zero. Again, these two are parallel, so this is going to be zero. Okay, let's talk about d. What is d1? A1. A1. So D1 is measured along Z0 till you intersect with the X axis. So this will be A1. D2? Zero. Zero. D2, yes. D2 is measured along Z1 where it intersects with X2. X2 means here. So this will be zero. How about D4? So D4 is measured along Z3, right, till it intersects with the next x-axis. So this is this distance, D4. We only have to measure one theta, which is theta 3. Theta 3 will be the angle between x3 and x2. So x3 and x2, here, these two are parallel. So this is going to be zero. Okay. So from here you will construct, you will use this to construct your A1, A2, A3, and A4. Okay. So you come up with T04.
and you will tell me what is x, y and z. <coughs> so next class we will talk about a wrist, how to operate a wrist, what is a spherical wrist. But you need to be very familiar with this so we can go to a 6 degree of freedom manipulator. Till now we are only talking about position, but now we will include an orientation. So you can rotate and approach any point in 3D space comfortably with any desired orientation. Okay, so I'm gonna send you a I'm gonna send you a practice question as homework. That has that won't be two questions will be simple where you don't have a problem, they just take the axis. But there will be I'm gonna give you one problem like this. In this case, satisfy these two rules, it's a little difficult. So you'll have to move this one, this origin here, okay? Anyways, I'll give it to you for practice. If not, we'll solve it in class, all right? Let's stop here. If you have any questions, you're welcome to stop by my office.